Hey folks, welcome back. Way back in January, I made a video about a small backpacking titanium mocha pot. And since then, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. This mocha pot was part of an Indiegogo campaign launched by Sam Jin back in 2022. And it's available through the Firebox website. I've recently spoke with Sam about another campaign he launched a few days ago for this big guy. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. We finally have a larger titanium mocha pot. Introducing the Maxi My Clean Coffee Maker Max. I will be giving away a brand new mocha pot to a subscriber, so keep on watching. Let's jump into the details. This new mocha pot can make two seven ounce cups, or if you're like me and need a bit more of a pick me up in the morning, a whopping 14 ounces. To give you a bit of a real life comparison, a standard curd can make up to 12 ounces of coffee. Both pots are made of titanium, so coffee leaching is not an issue. Now, I do want to correct an inaccuracy I made in my previous video. I mentioned percolation as a method, but it's not. It makes coffee just like other mocha pots, but it does it in a different way. So your standard mocha pot uses steam pressure to push the water from the lower chamber through the coffee to the upper chamber. Now, I know there are many coffee purists out there who understand the best way to use a mocha pot, but this mocha pot is a little different. Let me explain. A standard retail mocha pot will have a pressure release valve. This valve is a safety mechanism to prevent the pot from creating too much pressure in the lower chamber, meaning pressure will be released when an unsafe pressure is reached. Doesn't turn into a bomb. Makes sense, right? Okay. This valve is closed until that unsafe point. So when using a standard mocha pot, you heat the water until there's enough steam pressure to start consistently pushing the water through the coffee, at which time you pull it from the heat source. These titanium mocha pots are different. Since it's made to accept controlled and uncontrolled heat sources, there is no visible pressure regulator. So how is this a mocha pot? Here's how. There is a hole in the funnel, which is carefully sized to the max pressure of the lower chamber. This hole will still allow for steam pressure to push the water through the coffee safely. The only caveat is, unlike a pressure release valve, this hole is always open. So when making coffee in this pot, you will need to keep it on the heat source throughout the brewing process. Same concept, just different in execution. So let's make some coffee. It is recommended that you use 30 grams or a little less than four tablespoons of coffee for a robust brew, but it's up to you and how you like your coffee. This amount of coffee beans gets me to that recommended 30 grams or a little less than four tablespoons of ground coffee.
there is a graduation marker in the max fill for the lower chamber. And know there will be some water left in the lower chamber after brewing to catch some of the coffee sediment. To seal both chambers, a high temp silicone rubber seal is used. Replacement silicone seals will be made available for purchase through Sam's website. I like to place the filter in such a way that the convex side of the filter touches the coffee. For ease of use and cleanup in the outdoors, stainless steel mesh is used to filter the coffee grains. Quick release connection makes sealing the upper and lower chambers effortless. You can certainly drink your coffee out of the upper chamber or you can decant it into a cup. Cleaning is simple. Just dump everything out and let it dry, or you can wash it out with a little bit of water. I'm just going to go ahead and dump everything out, dry it out, and just wipe it with this microfiber cloth.
It'll be up to you if this fits your use case, but it's definitely light enough for backpacking at only 300 grams or 10.6 ounces. And it's more than acceptable for the weekend or overlanding trips. If you'd like a chance to win a brand new mocha pot, please subscribe and write a comment with the phrase mocha pot in the comments to enter the drawing. I will draw a winner in my next video. If you would like to pick up one now, I will leave the Indiegogo campaign link in the description. It's currently priced at 65 US dollars, which to me is a steal for a titanium product. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and have a good burn.